Alright everyone, we're back with another video of The Amazing Spider-Man 2. We're gonna head over to... Well, what are we doing? Alright, we're, we're gonna leave home and then we're gonna head towards Harry. Now, the thing is, in the last video we were talking to Black Cat. Which was pretty good. <laughs> it was a nice scene actually, in fact. And then, um, we're going to look for Harry. We're gonna learn about Wilson Fisk, which is... The Kingpin. Apparently, uh, Craven has been helping the Kingpin by, you know, misguiding Spider-Man is what I would say it. It all makes sense. Fisk becomes the Kingpin by eliminating all his rivals with his anti-crime task force. And the public thanks him for it. He writes a few big checks and everyone looks the other way. But it's not just the task force. I've been taking his enemies down too. And the one who's been pointing me toward them is Craven. I can't let him get away with this. I need to know more inside information on Fisk. And I've got an old friend who can get it. Alright, so that's exactly what I was saying. Harry, um, we're going to go in there now. Go see Harry like this. Wow. Everyone knows Fisk is crooked. But you're saying he's actually setting himself up as the top crime boss in New York? That's what I've been hearing. I'm, uh, working with Whitney Chang on a story, and she needs proof. You're closer to Fisk than anyone I know. Not really. He, he keeps his business private. But, as an investor, I do have access to the task force's financial records. Oh. Okay. One of the addresses you gave me came up. Large payments to a security consultant. Fisk handles all the personnel decisions. He's the one who hired this Kravenoff guy. But he cooked the books. So technically, Oscorp's paying him. He's trying to throw me under the bus. Join the club. You okay? Yeah. It's just... I trusted someone I shouldn't have. And I probably should have seen it, but... After losing my dad and Uncle Ben, I guess I wanted to believe. You wanted a father figure. I know what that's like. My dad shut me out of his life to focus on saving his own. And all he ended up leaving me was the disease that killed him. Huh? Harry, I'm sorry. What is it? It's genetic. Very rare. Degenerative. My father extended his life by spending a fortune while he looked for a cure. I don't have that kind of time. There's got to be some hope. Gene therapy. That's what all my dad's research was about. Is that why Norman started the cross-species experiments? Yeah. He thought he could give himself the resistance some animals have to conditions like this. But the closest he ever got was the work he did on spiders with your father. But Dad disappeared. And his work went with him. Your task force. Their body armor has medical applications. Can it help at all? It's not a cure. But it can give mobility to people who can't get around on their own. The task force has helped me improve on it. And protect my research from criminals who'd steal it. But it was a mistake to work with Fisk. He, uh, he knows you're sick? He figured it out. And now he's waiting for me to die so he can take Oscorp for himself. Listen, Pete. 
Take it from a guy who knows. When the people you trust turn their back on you, it's just proof you have to handle your problems yourself. But sometimes, you still need help. Harry, I'll do whatever I can for you. Just tell me what- Spider-Man. No one knows for sure how he got his powers. But he looks to me like the only successful, healthy example of cross-species genetics out there. You take pictures of him. You must have some way of reaching him. Well, uh... Peter, I need Spider-Man's blood. That's what I'm talking about. Now that is a tough one. Huh. A little early for Halloween, isn't it? Yeah, because he's the goblin. All right, looks like we have to do Quest's Fright Crime in Manhattan. Those people won't be able to breathe for long. Oh great, someone is unconscious. Yeah, yeah, I got ya. Oh boy, we fell. Ah, poor Harry. I want to help him, but without the proper testing, my blood could actually make things worse. My luck. Now I'll get busted for smoking in public. Anyone trapped in there doesn't have much time. Ah, oh, come on. Why do you keep blasting the wrong way? Much obliged, Spider-Man. More of a size map, but <laughs> ah, so much for fires being romantic. <laughs> Good thing my costume. For if my blood could cure Harry, I'd give it to him in a heartbeat. But it'll take time and lots of research to find out. He's in no mood to wait. I need to heal myself. Okay, let's blow this thing up first. Okay, I'm sorry. That was corny. Very nicely done. Every second counts. No one gets left out when I use the seismic blast. Good thing my costume protects me. But not enough. Where are you? Oh boy, you're really up there, aren't you? Are you chillax? Without testing it first, you could kill him, or turn him into a monster like with Dr. Connors. And then who knows how many people he might hurt and kill. The 
grateful survivors say no one but Spider-Man could have possibly reached them in time. You know, it looks like we're getting to something close. This is nuts! There's a bomb over there! If I can get near that bomb, I bet I'll sense it. gone off at this busy time of day, fatalities would have been all but assured. Thank you. Norman Osborn lived for years with his disease. Harry's got time, even if he doesn't feel like he does. Before I give him my blood, I need to make sure it's safe. For him and everyone else. Maybe Jonah Jameson and I could be friends if we just understood each other better. <laughs> nah. Now that's fun. All right, we gotta heal ourselves. Before moving on, I mean, we're not doing good. Hey, there's a book here. Just what I want. Buckle up. Fasten your seatbelts. I'm always awesome. Sometimes I'm extra awesome. Hey, there's another book. Who can resist that? Man, this next location is pretty far. this off long enough. Gotta catch up to Harry and talk to him. You came. Thank you. I'll pay whatever you want. Mr. Osborne, wait. I've checked with scientists familiar with gene therapy, and I can't give you my blood. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? I'll die without it. Not right away. There's still time for more research. Every other cross-species subject has turned into a monster. I don't know why it's different from me. I'm, I'm looking into it. I've but... paid the top minds in the field to look into it. A fortune. They don't have the answers. I'm willing to take the chance. It's not just about you. The lizard, the other cross-species, they hurt people. Get out. Kill people. Just get out. I can't give you my blood until I, I know right. it's safe. I can't I trust promise. anyone. I'll find out. I'm on my own. Mr. Osborne, I... No, no, just... just go. He's really at the end of his rope. I should have noticed a long time ago, but I was busy being played for a fool by Craven. I 
I can't believe I fell for his act. But why would he teach me his hunting techniques if he was going to betray me? I guess that's one of the things I'll have to ask him. Alright, you know, I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to be following him, but, uh, yeah. Let's just sit here for a while. He's taking us close to that point, anyways. I'm gonna find Craven and make him tell me the truth about his ties to Fisk. Alright, now they're going off. 